life before COVID was going really well. Uh, 2020 was looking like it was going to be a really great year for, for me, uh, for my band. Uh, we had a lot of great shows coming up. Um, I was ready to have one of my biggest years yet, and then it all came crashing down. So COVID happens and then we have absolutely nothing. We had no work, um, some, you know, I was, I was personally in debt. Uh, I've tried to find work, work elsewhere. Uh, I am selling cars now. And you know, I gotta, I gotta, you know, make some income right now. The 2020 calendar was canceled and I think there was an element of, of, of really kind of like PTSD from that. It was so traumatic losing all of our work. A lot of us were in denial. A lot of us just didn't know what, what to do uh, with our time. And also just how to cope, really. I mean, it took me it took me months. My attitude and my mindset has always been to push forward. I'm a survivor of cancer. I lost my leg when I was 19, and I didn't give up uh, my love of performing, uh, as well as tap dancing. like a need for us to perform and and it's necessary for us to you know to use art as a vehicle to express ourselves I think it's necessary for people to be at the receiving end of that too you can't really replace the uh, visceral energy of a live performance and you know um, for the crowd and the and the and the people I mean there's crackling energy in the air um, there's sort of a symbiotic relationship between the crowd and the people so that has been um, incredibly challenging for, for everybody in this room. You know, uh, we're used to doing that on a regular basis. You know, for me, I was like, hey, this is going to be a walk in the park, love. <laughs> like, I've been through so much more that, you know, that, that, that was life-threatening, uh, you know, in, in this way. I lost my leg, you know, uh, but, but this is, you know, it's crazy because it's, we're battling something that's so unknown. And not just, you know, all of, all of us as, as, as a population, as not just the United States, but as, as the world. You know, I don't think that, you know, I'm, I'm going to be giving this up anytime soon. I love getting together with the guys here um, to play music, to hang out, to talk. I'm, I'm excited for what's going to come out of this. Uh, we don't get to see each other often, but, uh, you know, I think 2021, there may be like just a giant explosion of, of, uh, of music and art and, and lots of creativity. So I'm looking forward to that. I have to find a way to live and to get through. And so that's how ultimately my diagnosis with cancer, you know, made me stronger. And you know, for every for everything that I come up against, I'm gonna try and find a way to to get through it and to succeed.